This is the adult direct orotracheal intubation skill. The first thing we will do for this skill is gather our equipment. For this skill, we will need a stethoscope, the appropriate PPE, which will be gloves and eye protection, a BVM with reservoir bag and mask, airway adjuncts, oxygen tubing with our oxygen tank and regulator, our colorimetric device, a laryngoscope handle and blades, an ET tube with stylet and syringe, a securing device, and a suction device with the appropriate catheters. Now that we've assembled our equipment and applied the appropriate PPE, we're going to prep our patient. The first thing we want to do is manually open the patient's airway and insert an oropharyngeal airway. After inserting the adjunct, we want to provide ventilations to our patient with our BVM at a rate of 10 to 12 breaths per minute with sufficient volume enough to see chest rise. I would continue to provide ventilations to my patient in order to pre-oxygenate them prior to the intubation. I would also attach a pulse oximeter to monitor their SpO2 readings. While my partner is pre-oxygenating my patient, I'll assemble my equipment. I'll need to attach my laryngoscope blade to the handle, as well as assemble my ET tube. After my equipment is prepared, I'll have my partner remove the OPA I'll now position my patient's head appropriately. Elevate the mandible with the blade and insert the ET tube to the appropriate depth. Once the ET tube is inserted, I'll remove the stylet, inflate the balloon to the proper volume, and immediately remove the syringe. Attach the BVM. Oh. I'll now have my partner resume ventilations. Oh. And I will auscultate bilaterally over the lungs and epigastrum to confirm tube placement. After confirming placement, we'll use a secondary device to confirm placement. We'll attach the color metric device to the tube and resume ventilations. Now I'll take the securing device and secure the tube. After the tube is secure, I'll resume ventilations and continue to monitor my patient's capnography and SpO2 readings.